everybody and welcome back! I know I've just done my August favourites like two weeks ago but I decided I wanted to be a bit more on time uh, for my September favourites so I thought I'd just do them like two weeks later, no matter what. Because it's only been two weeks I haven't had too many new things I could record for you. It's only uh, four things I have for you and we'll start right away. The first thing is something I bought in London and I showed you in my London haul last week and it's the Vichy Normadum Hyalur Spot Corrector. This is basically a pen you put on uh, any blemishes you get and imperfections and it helps them heal and go away. And I'm still struggling with my skin from, um, from all the travels I did and this really helps a lot because it's a bit more stronger than my um, beloved Clarence Lotus Oil and it just helps them go away faster. Next up is a um, body peeling by Soap and Glory which is one of my favorite brands ever and it's the Pulp Friction one. I recently finished my flag away peeling and I didn't really like it because it was too soft for me and I was looking for a stronger one and I got a recommendation for this and this is amazing. It is not too harsh and too rough um, and it's not too weak for me and it has this gorgeous really fruity smell. It smells like fruit salad I think and yeah it exfoliates the skin and it moisturizes the skin and this has been a real staple in my shower routine. To continue with the shower theme, um, another favorite of mine has been the John Frieda Frizz Ease Conditioner for um, wavy hair. Um, in its natural condition my hair is uh, straight to wavy and I really hate it when it's straight because my hat is pretty big and when my hair is flat there's no volume and it makes my hat even look bigger than it actually is. Um, and this conditioner just curls my hair so much more. Its natural wavy structure is um, enhanced and it makes my hair look pretty good even after I've brushed it like three or four times. So this is definitely a winner. I also have um, um, a treatment for the hair after washing it but I've not tried that yet. But I hope it will be as good as this one. Already the last thing, I think this is probably the shortest favorite video I've ever done, is the fragrance that flew with me to England and it's Thierry Mouillers. I have no idea how this name, brand, what design or whatever is pronounced. Please forgive me if I've done it wrong. Um, anyways, it's their Alien perfume. Alien is basically um, a sweet scent with a lot of spicy undertones and if you know me that's normally not my cup of tea at all. I really like fruity and fresh scents but I got this as a sample um, I think two years ago and I was so excited about it and so interested in it that I went ahead and bought the fragrance anyway and it's an older perfume which makes it linger on your skin really long and yeah this is such an intriguing smell it's different from anything I own and I own quite a few perfumes believe me and this is so great and every time I smell it now it transports me back to London and I love it there so much so yeah I adore this yeah that's already it for my September favorites um, I hope you can forgive me, they are so short and there's so few of them but uh, I wanted to be on time for once and not post my favourites when uh, the month's already half over. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, it would be super nice if you gave me a thumbs up and commented if you liked this and it would be even cooler if you subscribed to my channel. 